Welcome everyone to the inaugural episode of Pairing Wit, the show where we explore pairing wines with various cuisines. Joining me today is the lovely Crystal. Hello guys, my name is Crystal. All right, so Crystal, today yeah. we're exploring the, the fabulous hot pot. That's my favorite food. So what is hot pot? Hot pot, hot pot is popular traditional Chinese food. Basically you can see there's one pot and then we have a soup base mm -hmm. and then we have raw meat and vegetables. So we just dip into the soup base and then we can eat it. During the new year, like Chinese new year, it okay. was like family gathering. Right. So um, the pot meaning we share one thing. So like we are a big family and then we share one pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So means the family members stay t together forever. Beautiful. So what goes into the hot pot base? The hot pot base. Okay. First of all, cinnamon stick. What's this called? Taqua. 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 Oh, okay. Taqua. This one is dry aniseed. Oh, we love this. Then this is the chili, spicy dry chili. <laughs> oh, this one is the dry cloves. Well, like, to be honest with you guys, I don't really know what it is. It's my favorite one. It makes your tongue be numb. Okay. This is the prickly ash. This is the fennel seeds. Okay. This one is a dry tangerine peel. Okay. This one is a Sichuan spicy paste. I can't find any, any English on it, but this one, when you make like Sichuan dishes, you got to have this. And where did you get this? Chinese market. It's really, well, kind of hard to find, but I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't in Sichuan. It, it, they from Sichuan. Right over there. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So we've covered the ingredients. Now, before we add the goodies into the hot pot, why don't we try the hot pot and just get a sense of what the taste is going to sure. be? Sure. Like. I now, barely, I barely no. eat it. Okay, so soup. if you were Chinese, how do you say like bon appetit? What? This is really spicy. People of the internet, <laughs> this is for you. Because <laughs> I know I'm about to get screwed. Spicy and salty. Oh, mama. All right, so what did you put in here? You can eat beef, lamb, chicken, or pork, okay. and fish, or all kinds of food. So you just dip it in, and then wait until it got cooked. So like a fondue? Yes. Okay. Mmm. Usually we eat this with all different kinds of sauces, mm -hmm. but for me, I, wanna, I just want to eat this without anything, because I can really taste the soup paste. Mmm. Mm. You like it? Yeah, it's interesting with the with the spice and how it just like really starts to come alive. I think it's called enoki mushroom. Mm. It is different, huh? Very different, but very flavorful. Mm. What do you think? Huh? Is that good? Yeah, agrees. Thank you. All right, food's delicious. Uh, beef, mushrooms, the base itself. Uh, this is a fun product, but you know what's missing? Wine. Wow, wine. We, I never tried wine with hot pot or hot pot with wine. I really curious. There's a first time for everything. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> okay, so we got the food. Now, let's try this. Now, here's how it's going to work. Okay. These wines are going to increase in scale in terms of acidity and the residual sugar. Oh, And wow. I want you to see, give me the experience of what's like for you as we go up the scale. How does the wine affect the taste of the food, okay? Okay. And let's just see how things work from there. Yes. Okay, so let's start with this one. So this is the lowest in the residual sugar. Okay. So this is a German Riesling. I like it. Yeah, no, all right, so get a bite of the food and then tell me what you notice as um, as you drink the wine. What do you notice? I think it's not as salty as before. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I 
I can taste the, like the mushroom flavor more. So it's brought out the food flavors a little bit more. Yeah, then just taste like um, before I taste the soup is more than the food itself, mm -hmm. but now I taste like more the food, the, the flavor of about food. Okay, so yeah, this is the also from the same winery. It's this is the Kessner Hamburg Riesling Cabinet. So we have a high residual sugar on this one than the previous. Mm, kind of stronger than that one. Yeah, so we're gonna start going up in the strength and the, in the scale of it. I like it. Mm. I love the sweetness. I love it. You like it? Mm -hmm. You know, I noticed as I as I eat it and like. The spi it seemed to get spicier. Right. Mm -hmm. They have high acidity and they high, have higher sugar levels. So it really helps bring out the spice in the food. Oh. I'm gonna get drunk. That's okay. Wow. I have that feeling. Mm -hmm. like It makes more spicy. The key notes, when you have a food that's spicy, the wines that you really want to go with are wines that are sweet, wines that are acidic. And that's okay. really going to really complement these well. If we use different kinds of wines, you can have a negative effect on what you're trying to, to achieve. Okay. And that's why we're going with these kinds of products to really intensify the flavors, really bring it out. Notice like really how the certain spices, I can really tell like the chili. It's still here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still burning my tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's just really one of the interesting things about using these kinds of wines is just how that has the effect on it. So you mean the the sweeter wine gonna bring more spicy? If you notice, that's what, exactly what we've done. We've gone from the lightest sweetness into mm -hmm. the higher level of sweetness and that's just what keeps getting intensified. Yeah. I can, yeah. Wow. Spicy. Yeah. All right. So the last one. What about these are one? Also, those also work because it's the same principle. You're using it's they're sweet. Mm -hmm. So they, those things will work. Wow. <laughs> What I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare this wine to one that is less in sugar but a little bit higher in the acidity level. Okay. I want you to do a side by side comparison between that one and this one that you like so much. Okay. This is really light. Mm hmm. Still my favorite. Still your favorite. Right. So what I'm gonna use now is I'm gonna use a dry wine. Okay. So we've been using the sweets now. I want you to have the experience of what's it like when you have a dry versus a sweet. Now mix this one with the food. Even though this is not as sweet as this one, but this will bring some more flavor to it. Typically, dry wines are not the ones you want to pair with the spicy. Oh. But in this case, the Gruner's, it's, it's not a dry Gruner, it's a fruity Gruner. Okay. That's why. So it might have that, might explain that differential with you. Because normally, yeah, we um, would want to go the sweet in the, in the acidic because it brings out. Versus one that's a little maybe say more on the dryness. Okay. Because it tends to take this, exemplify other characteristics of the flavor that we really aren't looking for. I see. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We'll sit here and finish this. And catch us again next time. 
watch us. Mm. 